What's up guys, my name is Opinion Shrivastho and welcome back to YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to run the Ubuntu operating system on an Android phone using the Termex app. So with the help of this video, you can easily install and run the Ubuntu operating system with a single click on Android phone. So there will not will be any long process in which you have to just copy and paste different commands. It will run by simply copying and pasting a single command. So for making this video, I'm taking in the help of a script created by a channel called Technical Bot. So this channel, you can just go to description, you will find a link, just go and follow them and show support to them also. So, okay, so with the help of this, you can easily install the Ubuntu operating system on Android phone using Termex app, and you will also get the audio working in it. So, you can easily start any type of YouTube videos and you can easily run any type of audio files. Okay, so before you starting this video, guys, just go to description or find my Instagram profile link. Just go and follow me there and message me if you face any kind of difficulties. I will try to help as much people I can. Okay, so let's start the video without wasting any more time. So here you can see guys, I have my smartphone. So first of all, you need to download and install Termax app and then you need to install the VNC Viewer. So open the Chrome app and just go to the link I given in description, which is this link. Just slide down and from here you have to download the Termax app. Click on this download APK and click on OK. So you can see it is started the download process. So just wait here and let the process complete. So here you can see guys the download is completed. Now click on it. Click on install. And click on done. Now go back to your home screen. Open the play store. And install an app called VNC V1. Okay. This is the app. And install it. So now the installation is completed. Now go back to your home screen and now open the Termex app. So the first thing you have to do, you have to update and upgrade the Termex app. So firstly, update the Termex app by using the command pkg update and hit enter. Now click on it, click on Y and hit enter. So we install all the latest update for the Termex app. Click on it again, click on Y again. So it will ask you multiple times, just keep the value Y here. So now the installation of update is completed. Now we need to upgrade all the packages of Termex app. So simply type here PKG upgrade. Okay, and hit enter. Now next thing you have to do, you have to set up the storage of the Termex app. So for that, just run a command called Termex setup storage. Okay, and hit enter. It will ask you for the permission. Click on allow. So now Termex have the access to your internal storage. So now you can install and save all those these, all the required files there. Okay. Next thing you have to do, you have to install curl. So for that, simply type here pkg install curl. Okay. So it's already installed. So nothing to worry. Now the next thing you have to do, you have to go to the description, you will find a link to a github page which is a github profile of a technical board channel. So just go to the description and also find a link, uh, the channel link of technical board. Just go and show support to him because this script is written by him. So it is kind of very useful for all of you because with the single command you can install the full Ubuntu desktop on an Android phone using a Termex app. So just go to the description to this link and open it. So just what you have to do, you have to just copy this whole command 
and just paste it in the termex app so this is the github profile where you have to copy it from so you will find a link in the description now go back to the termex app and paste it here like this it will start the download installation of the ubuntu os just hit enter okay you can see now installing the ubuntu now type here y and hit enter now just wait here it will start all the process so it will take a lot of time because it downloads some files and it should be in a high in size so you just have to wait here and make sure that you have a good and stable internet connection okay so let the download and installation complete so here you can see after the installation will complete it will come to this screen so what you have to do you have to give a password for ubuntu So you can see after giving the password it will start the installation again so there are few things that you still need to download and install so just wait here and let it complete so here you can see guys it will ask for creating a vnc password so you just write any password here so i will type here youtube and I will hit enter I will type YouTube again and hit enter I will give you an N and hit enter so here you can see guys the installation is completed now it will launch to this screen where you can see all the required commands so to install ubuntu you just type here ubuntu and hit enter and to install a vnc server you just have to type vnc start and hit enter so first you have to run ubuntu and then you have to run the vnc start and the default ubuntu password is given here which is ubuntu itself okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to firstly run the ubuntu so i will type here ubuntu okay and I will hit enter you can see now we are in the terminal of Ubuntu which is the Ubuntu at the local host okay so now we are logging as a Ubuntu as a user now I will start the VNC server to start a VNC server you have to just type here VNC start okay and hit enter so it will start a VNC server now you don't have to do anything what you have to do is just open the vnc viewer app okay and here you have to click on this plus sign and type here localhost give the colon here type here one and give here the name which will be ubuntu oh yes okay done now click on connect so now just uncheck this so it will not ask you every time just click on okay now give here the password that you given while creating the vnc server so i given the password youtube here so you give the exit password that you given there so I given YouTube, I will give here YouTube and done and boom you can see now we are on the Ubuntu desktop so in the first start it will take some time to uh, load the colors completely so just wait here and let it to be load completely okay now let's see you can put in the full screen so here you can see this is the Mozilla Firefox, this is terminal, this is files, this is text editor and in the application you can find some different applications like uh, Plank, text editor, in the internet there is Firefox so let me firstly open the terminal and run few commands here click on the keyboard let me type here ls to list the current directory to 
PWD to see the current working directory and similarly you can run and install any package inside this uh, Ubuntu OS okay it can be anything uh, let me open the Firefox you can see it's opening up the YouTube YouTube is also working correctly here I can open my channel you can see guys so you can just go and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon let me open a video to show you the audio let's see if it's able to capture the audio or not okay so it's not capturing as of now because I'm screen recording but no issue when you will run it normally now it will capture the audio okay let me close this So you can see now colors are also completely loaded so it takes some time to load the full desktop so you just have to wait for 5 to 10 minutes and then it will be completely loaded so you can see firefox file uh, file browser text reader so there are multiple possibilities with this desktop you can do many things so if you are a linux user you know like how much useful it can be okay guys so i hope you like this video and if you face any kind of difficulties just go to the description or find my instagram profile link just go and message me i will try to help as much people i can okay so thank you for watching this video have a good day good luck and bye take care